Welcome to match day three of the Daggers Essex Alliance Senior Division campaign. Third game in seven days for the Daggers today sees us host Walthamstow Reserves at Barking Dagham College. We go through the lineup, Rob Balboza back between the sticks again. An unchanged back four sees Fritz start on the left, Liam on the right, and a centre back pairing of Chris and Jordan. Another unchanged midfield three sees JT, Derek, and Liam occupy the midfield positions. Front three today sees Tatenda making his first start for the club, Kane running middle and Christopher out wide on the right. A full contingent of subs once again for the Daggers sees Richie, George, Bailey, Jordan Akipelu and Jordan Adesanya on the bench. And we are underway here at Barking and Dagnum College. Dagnum in the home kit of the red and black, Wolfenstein reserves in the all blue. First meeting between the two sides today. Both teams come into the game with very young squads. Sure going to be an interesting game, and that's a massive challenge very early from Liam. You know what his job is. Any loose balls and he's straight on them. Big flying challenges, and once again sets the tempo early doors with a crunching challenge. K managed to receive the ball here on the edge of the box, and he's tripped, and that is a foul. Very good position here for Dagnum. We'll see Derek step up, looking to take the free kick. We've seen him score a few of these in training. We know he's got a good sight on him. So early in the game, though, it could just be a rangefinder. Liam, follow it up. Yeah, he's got a stick. Yeah, of course he is. Maybe it wouldn't. Well, I'm right. Yep. Oh, I'm it's not a bad strike, but comfortably into the keeper's hands. He manages to collect it nicely. And another free kick goes in deep into the box. He's bounced over. Oh, keeper wasn't too sure there. Just a couple of inches too high there from Chris. He's played a deep one into the area. Bounces just over the bar. And now we see Wolf Wolfenstow's turn to launch a big one into the box, but never going to get over the back wall there. Chris, dominant in the air, big header, clears it away. And Daggers follow up, just knock it out for a throw in. And we go straight into another throw here. Chris looking to utilise the weapon, big throw into the box. Not dealt with well, oh, and that's a goal, surely. Defenders flicked it on. Let's have a look at the replay. Clearly an own goal by the defender, referee. As a judge for there to be a push in the box, I've watched that replay five or six times and I cannot see a thing. And once again, another poor decision has seen a goal chalked off of the daggers. It seems to be an ongoing thing. And Liam have a fantastic ball into the box. And once again, another poor call. You can clearly see Kane's onside. Ball's whipped in, bent beautifully. Decent first touch there by Kane. Lino has put up his flag. That's two. Very, very questionable decisions in quick succession. Dagnum started to feel a little bit frustrated. Three league games now. We've had three goals disallowed in every single game. It's getting a bit silly. No, we have to work harder. No, we've got to make sure to bear the chances. But it is beginning to get frustrating. And another big ball into the box. Christopher just unable to fully connect with that. Derek Good turn inside. Outside the boot, looking for the shot. Going for that top corner again. We've seen him score from that distance before, but just not doing this time. Liam absolutely bursting down that right-hand side. We've seen it before. Plenty of times he's a real road on him when he gets going. Unfortunately, can't quite make anything of this chance, but really setting a tempo. Pace in abundance. Ball dot back to here to Chris. Good little ball back out wide to Fritz. Tries the long ball. Wolverstar haven't been dealing with it too well. And Kane has just been causing havoc up there. Keepers jumped out. Not quite fully dropped. Oh, great strike there by Christopher. That's a handball, surely. Ball's clearly going on goal. Let's have a look at this replay. He's fumbled there, high foot. Oh, players turn around. The arm clearly struck by the ball as he's going in. That's a clear denial of a goal scoring opportunity. Ball's going in if the hand's up there. Just listen to the Wolfhamstow coach down here, please. Even their Wolfenstow coach knows it. He's actively said, send him off, get him off. Knows full well that Wolfenstow could potentially be down to 10 men there. That's a great strike by Tatenda as well. Following up, another loose ball knocked out onto the edge of the box. Dagnum again frustrated. Referee's response was that he felt the player's arm was in a natural position, but irregardless, that's a clear denial of a goal scoring opportunity. So Dagnum rightly feel aggrieved. And again, we saw a header at the back post there, just not finished. Dagnum Pepper in the Walthamstow goal. Great little feet by Liam as well. Looks to play that slide ball. 
not able to fully do it. And again, just skipping past players, but he's brought down. Oh, there's a little kick out there by the number eight, who featured quite heavily for Walthamstow. Got himself in trouble quite a few times. Will say, not a nice player at all. Liam's looked to knock the ball into the box. Nothing doing, and Walthamstow just smash it away. All scrappy there, and they've been pickpocketed. Fritz has knocked it into the player, but Rob, superb. Fantastic sweeper keeping there. Reads the danger, comes out, scoops you up, no problem at all. And that's another big ball going into the box as well. Nothing coming from it, smashed out to the edge. Great touch by Liam, sets himself up in a shooting position. Deflection just drags it wide at post. Oh, that's a real late challenge there by the number 10. Catches Fritz on the ankle. He's been in the wars this last week. Let's have a look here. I'm really not sure why the number 10 so upset, but that's some real lack of discipline there. I'm not sure why the ref hasn't seen this. He's clearly looking to try and instigate some sort of physical alteration or a fight. Trying to fight his own players there. Real lack of temperament there. Referee's got to be looking to card the player. To be fair, he's trying to be an aggressor. Again, at least the yellow could potentially be a sending off, trying to instigate a fight. Lost the head on a few occasions there, the Walthamstow boys. Number 10 and number 8 in particular. Dagnall looking to use that experience and try and get in front, but again, another chance. Just goes begging. Big knock forward again by Rob Kane, just managing to hold the players off. Had a much better game today. Plays the ball out wide to Derek, drives down at right hand side. Good strength to hold the defender off. Drags it by the byline, cuts it in. Nothing doing though, again, nobody there to collect. Jordan reads it well, good head back into the middle. Oh, again, that's another high foot stud showing. Referee's seen this one, and that is a free kick again to Dagnum. Liam again, another player that's been in the wars. Say Dagnum coming through three games in seven days. And again, it's too easy from the free kick there. Keeper collects that calmly. It'll take those sort of strikes all day long. Looks to get Wolfenstow on the attack. Big smash forward, but Chris has read it. No problem, returns the favour. A free kick here to Wolfenstow. It's their turn to look to mount an attack. Big smash into the box. Dealt with fine though by Chris. Manages to get a foot onto it. Drops out wide to the Wolfenstow player. Shanks the cross into the box. And that is half time. Teams going level at nil nil. Dagnall more frustrated. Could easily have been in front in this half. Wolfenstein had little patches of some good play, given that. But Daggers really should be 1 or 2 nil up at least. No, they've got to step up the efforts and need to find a way to start bearing the chances. It seems to be a continuing story at the moment. Defensively, very, very sound. Offensively, just lacking a little bit. Just that killer edge to find those crucial goals. A big smash goes out wide. No problem goes into the on-watching fans. Chris finds himself in another good position here to utilise that throw in. Looping ball into the box, which causes a bit of carnage. Kane's looking outside the boot for that top corner, but just couldn't drop in time. We'll see the first sub of the day as Derek comes off and is replaced by Jordan Akinpelu. A young player who's been with Dagnan for a number of years now. And that's a fantastic knock by Rob. Deliveries have been absolutely top class. You'll, you'll be hard pressed to find another goalkeeper who's got better deliveries than he has. Really improved over the last couple of years. You've said him plenty of times. Signed him when he was 16. Been fantastic ever since. Second sub of the game sees Bailey Hoss that comes on to replace Liam Greaves. Ball not dealt with there from the throw in. A Wolfenstone knock a big boy into the box. Oh, no. Absolute freak accident there. Jordan in attempting to clear. It was just unfortunately sliced off the side of his head. And Wolfenstow have found himself 1-0 up. All by us aside, undeservedly so as well. A freak accident. But it happens to everybody. It is what it is. We've just got to get back onto it. Oh, again, number eight. Finds himself once again centre of some controversy. Really no need for that challenge at all. The arm raised in the back of the head. I'll be honest, just a real dickhead of a player. Great ball goes into the box and keeper is flapping it. Oh, that's it, the crossbar. 
Dagenham again just unable to finish that chance. Good fit there on the edge of the box, but managed to scramble it away. Another chance goes begging for Dagenham. Third sub of the game here sees Richie coming on to replace Kane. And Jordan Adesanya replaces Jordan, rightfully frustrated. Understand me, so in a good game, one one freak accident doesn't at all do him justice. He's been superb so far this season. So, and once again, Dagnum utilising that long throw. George with a good head on the edge of the box. Keepers flapped it, and it's managed. It's gone in. Dagnum get back level one one. And we know that throw is more like a free kick. George with a great little nod. Just completely misjudges it there, the keeper. Ball takes a good bounce, goes through his hands. And back to 1-1. One, one. Dagnum tied the game up, and again, deservedly so. No chance we deserve to walk away with anything less than a point in this game. A goal lacking some offensive beauty at times, shall we say, but... A goal's a goal at the end of the day. Adesanya down here on the right-hand side. Good ball into the middle. Good little touch there by Liam. Turns out. Great knock into the box. Christopher Goodlett wed. Jordan looks to cut inside. Just again, slightly overdoing it. It seems to be one or two touches too many for Dagnum at the moment. But the chances are coming late in the game. Throw again by Chris. Liam looking to the period, but got caught there in possession. Oh, Fritz has played the ball to Rob. Little dink. Oh, what a challenge. Fantastic recovery there by Bailey. Has read the flight of the ball perfectly. Clears it away. Make sure there's no late drama there. Really good defending that is. Great touch by Richie as well. Drives forward. Looks to love the keeper. Tries an early one, but keepers managed to read that comfortably. Collects. And once again, we see that big throw go into the box. Bailey gets into it. Oh, keepers managed to push it away from that top corner. Second challenge, still a bit of pinball in that box. Not quite dealt with. Causing some real carnage throughout the game. And Wolfenstein player smashed it into Jordan, who's won it really well. Dagger now on a break, flooding the players forward. Great cross into the middle. Heavy touch there, but great turn inside. Oh, I just can't quite fully get the connection. And that's the chance to win the game. Dagnum had a few chances throughout. That could have been the one to kill it off right at the end. And that is a full-time whistle. 1-1. One, one. Very frustrating afternoon for Dagnum. Tiredness seemed to catch up with them, as we said, three games in seven days. And there's the confirmation of the result. Another point, another unbeaten game. We take the positives of an unbeaten start to the season and say a massive thank you to our match day sponsors, Rapid Response Removals and KDT Skips.